Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So we've got a brand new 2023 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo sitting behind me. This is a 24 footer. It's a really, really good setup. Uh, each one of these trailers is a little unique on how we set them up. So every one of them's a little bit different. Uh, we always use the comparison of it's uh, Cimarron's like a fingerprint. Every one of them's unique. Every one of them has different features, different options that we feel just give you a lot more benefit and a lot more use out of the trailer itself. Now, before we start walking around this one, let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing on this trailer so I can show you some specs on this one here. So what we're looking at, like I mentioned, was a 24 foot on the floor trailer. We have a three foot six front tack room. Everything's on a slant, the partition wall, the center gates that we'll show you. Uh, what we've also got is we've got uh, 20 foot six on the long wall in the stock area with a four foot offset so you have a 16 six short wall this is a si standard 610 wide and standard 7 one tall trailer the way it's set up now each one of these again we go in and we do some different options to them first and foremost when we're looking at a Cimarron we're looking at all aluminum construction you have an eight year structure warranty you have a three-year hardware warranty, and then you have a one-year no questions asked warranty on your tires, which we'll talk about that in a little bit more. But this is a really, really popular setup on this 24-footer, the way it's set up. So we'll walk you through it and show you a couple different things. First and foremost, underneath the gooseneck, nothing too crazy under here. You've got a manual uh, hand crank jack, single leg. It's a bulldog jack, plenty of jack underneath this one. But one thing that we've done is, is in communication with Cimarron, we've always, we're always trying to improve the trailer. We always want to build the next trailer better than the last one. And on this one here, we, we started the conversation about these 610 wide trailers and our spare tire. A lot of people are upgrading to electric over hydraulic jacks. We use an elite and equalizer setup that has a manual override. But one thing that has become a challenge with doing that so many times is normally this spare tire is located down low. Well, when that happens, the footprint of that equalizer jack is larger than the manual. So we have to relocate them, which means more money, more time for you to actually put that option on there. So we talked to Cimarron, we said, hey, what if we move this up, just make it standard on all of our inventory trailers, 610 wide. It's one less thing we have to do if they wanna um, actually go ahead and upgrade to that. So we started doing that with our inventory and just recently we got an email saying, stating all their 610 wide trailers are going to have the spare tire located up. So it was very well accepted by the rest of the dealers out there. But on our 7.6 wide, 8 foot wide, you know, we have a wider trailer anyway, so it's not as big of a deal. But we do like this because it gets it up out of the way. It's easier to walk through here. Uh, on these Cimarron noses, these are 8.2 long. So uh, a lot of the competitors have nose lengths of about 7.6 to 7.8. So if you're running a long box with your tailgate down, sometimes it's right up against that spare tire to where when we drop a tailgate, you can actually walk through this area. So that's definitely something that has some benefit there. I love the way um, that these Cimarron's pull. I think that ha has something to do with it as far as the way they balance out. Uh, always, they're always gonna try to put the axles in the most optimum place for balance and the way the trailer pulls. But I think that has something to do with it. One of the other things, is on a lot of competitors and standard has been a 50 inch gooseneck drop wall height. So what we're dealing with in these newer pickups, especially Fords and Dodges over the last couple of years, GMs with their new body style, the bed heights have gone up. And who wants to tear up a bed on one of these brand new, really expensive trucks? We know the price tags on them today are 85, 90, almost $100,000 on a lot of these trucks. So why tear up a bed? So what we've done is we've made this a 53 inch gooseneck drop wall height. So yes, it does eat three inches into that gooseneck, but now we can make sure this trailer's running level and plenty of bed clearance to adjust our coupler to make sure all that happens. To where on those 50 inches, um, or if you see some older trailers on these brand new trucks, you'll see that the trailer's running level with hardly any bed clearance, or it's actually nosed up and running on the back axle, which we don't want. So again, that's one thing that we've gone into our using trailers like this setup and done that that option for you so again we can make this run level for you and again don't worry about bed clearance now on this setup we have a, again I mentioned a four foot offset so we have a three six short wall that means we have a seven six long wall over here 
Uh, this is an RTG setup, uh, so it's called the ready to go package. So a couple things we have is, first thing is a 42 inch wide door. On your door, you're gonna have a four tier blanket pole rack. It's on a gas shock, so it swings out for you. And then a brush tray, having just storage for smaller miscellaneous items. As you can see, we've got the manual in there, but a great place for uh, bottles of fly spray, brushes, anything like that, you can just throw right in there. But on this 42 inch wide door, with the ready to go package is because we put a swing out saddle rack. Now this is a four tier pad saddle rack setup that swings out. Now, the reason why a 42 inch wide door, and I want you to pay attention to a lot of the competitors with this is a lot of the competitors will have maybe about a 36, maybe even 38 inch door. But as you can see, when this is swung in and imagine saddles on here, when you start moving that door you know, that frame tighter together, you have the potential of literally dragging saddles across that door frame as you're swinging in and out. The other thing is on those, when it's swung out, you really can't get into the tack room. It has to be swung in for you to get in and out of the tack room. There's still a lot of room right there for you to, to move between uh, the outside of the trailer and then that tack area. These pads can be adjusted. So all you have to do is loosen them, slide them where you want, tighten it back up, and then it's in place. It's on a gas shock as well, so it just swings in and out. Now, the other thing is we like steps. We really like steps on tack rooms, uh, especially, I mean, granted, this trailer does have a running board on it, but as you can see, the running board height versus the height of that bottom door frame there, and then where I'm standing, that's a pretty big step getting in and out of this trailer. So why not make this transition a lot easier? We put these fold-up steps definitely on our eight wide trailers, seven, six, but on even these standard wide, uh, width trailers, we've gone in and added steps anywhere we can just to make that transition so much easier for you. Now, other pieces to the RTG package. Um, one of the very first things, since this one's a stock combo up here, is you're gonna have a plexiglass tray. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit, but you can store those items up in there, uh, keeping them nice and neat rather than just throwing them up here in the neck area. And then you're going to have two windows so you can see in and out, uh, get a cross breeze throughout here if you're throwing a bedroll or mattress up in this neck as well. Behind me is a shelf with a clothes rod. So again, the shelf is standard in the RTG package. It has this nice lip here. It's got rubber up there to make sure items aren't shifting as much in transit. And then you have your clothes bar to hang some clothes. It's definitely nice to be able to keep things nice and neat, hang them out of the way, keeping them clean. You can hop in here, use it you know, as a changing room in some instances. And then on the gooseneck drop wall, you get a 12 inch boot box. This goes partial way across the gooseneck drop wall. And the reason why is just because we want this, this main part when we come in to be a little bit wider, a little bit more inviting, a um, little bit easier to move around. So we went partial way, but this is a great place for again, smaller miscellaneous items, but then also is a nice step jumping up into the tack room. And then on your partition wall, you've got a set of bridle hooks with carpet behind them. We always try to put carpet behind bridle hooks if we can, just so we don't have, again, your tack literally you know, moving back and forth against this aluminum, scuffing it up. Um, also potentially doing damage to your tack as you have it hung up here. But then also it doesn't make as, lot of, as much noise because of that carpet. It deadens it for the animals on the other side of this. And one of the last things on the RTG package is going to be your corner water tank that's located behind your saddle rack there. Uh, that's kind of wasted space back there. But those corner water tanks, we just continue to add them on and we just said, hey, that just needs to be part of the package. Uh, it's 25 gallons, so it's gravity feed. You fill it at the top, empty at the bottom, you get a hose with it, my opinion. Put a ball valve on the end to fill your buckets out there, that way you're not lugging them in and out. But that's really nice to be able to carry water with you as you're traveling, get to certain shows, maybe the hydrant's a half mile away. Again, who wants to lug buckets that far? Um, but then if you have finicky horse, you know, something along those lines, you can actually carry that water with you. Now, as we step outside of this, standard color on a Cimarron is a white sheeted trailer. This one here is actually a charcoal metallic. Uh, this, pot, this color has become extremely popular because again, it works really well with a lot of the color packages in today's pickups. Um, 
in my opinion, I like it a little bit better than the black. Now, again, that's just my opinion. And, and the reason why is because it's got that charcoal in there, that undertone. So I don't think it shows dirt as much. I mean, it can have some dirt on it, but you're not going to notice it as much as like the black trailers will. But we can do black. We can do silver metallic. We can do champagne. We can do custom colors as well. Um, there is an upcharge when you go from white to one of these other colors. But again, this has become a very popular color that we're looking at here. Up on your top rail, you've got some button LED lights that's standard on Cimarron's from 22 models forward, but then you see a 16 inch awning light up there. So you have an awning light on each side of the trailer and one at the rear, plenty of light coverage throughout this trailer. You know you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in the dark from time to time, so why not have some lights? And then there's your two rows of plexiglass. So if we need to, we can pull those out. Now, in these type of trailers, here's where it needs to be. You need to kind of pay attention, and, and this is my take on this. Take a roll of masking tape or painter's tape and a Sharpie and keep it in that front tack room. Because when I pull out the plexiglass on driver's side versus passenger side, there's different lengths because of the offset. And then we also have an escape door. So we're dealing with different size pieces. So what I would do is I would take out passenger upper, tape them together and write that on there. Do the same for the bottom, then do the same for driver because believe me, you'll save a lot of time, a lot of headaches, a lot of bad words being said by doing that. Because if you throw all of them in that brush tray and you go to put them away, you're gonna spend 20, 30 minutes putting all this plexiglass back in this trailer. Cause you're gonna put a piece in that doesn't go there. It doesn't fit. Then you're, again, you're moving pieces in and out. So just by doing that small step, it'll save you a lot of hassle uh, in my opinion. You've got three exterior tie rings on this trailer. We can add more. Anywhere there's an upright post, we can go in and add more tie rings for you if you'd like to do that. We have two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, electric brakes on this trailer. We opted for the black with silver rims on this one, 16 inch. These are balanced and nitrogen filled tires. I mentioned earlier that you have a one year, no question to us warranty on these tires. Literally, if you catch road debris, have a blowout, catch a nail that can't be patched, they'll send you a new tire. That's through Lion's Head, who's the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires. And then you also have two years of roadside assistance. Now, those nitrogen filled tires, you can put air to them. That's a misconception out there. Uh, you're not getting the benefit of nitrogen when you put air to them. If you have a slow leak, you can get that patched. You can go to a tire, tire store and as long as they have that nitrogen, we recommend you put that back in them because it won't allow PSI levels to fluctuate as drastically as air. So as we get to the back of the trailer, we're gonna have a single gate. You'll notice the kick mat on the back gate itself. We're also gonna have kick mat on hip wall and then our partition wall up at the front of this trailer. So as we get into the stall area, there's a couple different things. This is why this trailer has become such a popular setup is we have two center cut gates here. This first one is located directly behind the escape door, which we'll show you when we get to the outside. But this first stall, these gates clear each other. So they're not overlapping. So they get against this driver's side of the trailer very well. But you can unpin it and has a slam latch. But if you noticed on that drawing that I showed you earlier, that first stall is 3-3. So that's 39 inches. So that's standard on our slant wall horse trailers. But this is a great stall for maybe, again, you want to throw a stud in there, somebody that's a little bit more of a problem child, or if you want to use it for tack. So maybe you want to throw some extra bedding, some feed in there, um, anything like that, throw some buckets in there. I mean, you can do a little bit of everything in that first stall and you can access it from that uh, side door as well. But then you're gonna have another gate located behind it everything matches so everything matches that uh, slant on our partition wall and then like i showed you right there it is located inside this rear opening but these slam latches are great they're great for safety purposes in my opinion we're not having to hold the gate you know in place to pin it uh, you literally just push it forward in this heavy uhmw paddle latch this is aluminum powder, uh, powder coated around it. Everything has a radius. Everything is nice and smooth. Nothing protruding out, nothing sharp. Uh, that is animal safety and that's Cimarron, you know, giving them a lot of credit for, you know, obviously it's a horse trailer, stock trailer, 
let's go ahead and make everything as safe as possible. LED lights, so you have LED lights in here as well. You've got a couple of them, one here, one located up front. We like these Optibrights, these bigger, um, clearer lenses. They put out a lot of light, not a big power draw. And then every single Cimarron comes with the insulated roof. So that's standard on every single Cimarron. Doesn't matter what model it is. It's a half inch thick, reinforced, honeycomb design roof. It's very, very strong. It takes 150 pounds per square foot. I can walk on this roof and I will not dent it. I don't have to find a roof bow to actually step and stand on. I can walk on it and be totally fine. In my opinion, the most important benefit to that roof is what it does for temperature in the stall area. So it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. It's got an earth R3 thermal value. So it's keeping the animals more comfortable in here as we're in transit. Um, literally, when we're at shows, you'll see us sitting in the trailer rather than maybe out in our easy up tent in the shade because it's that much cooler actually in the trailer because of that roof. The other thing is the strength of this floor. So what I'm standing on is I'm standing on the industry's best floor. It's a half inch thick, extruded piece of aluminum that locks in high and low. So it's got two points of locking rather than a lot of competitors just have one. Uh, when you lock it together and start constructing this floor, it gains strength as you put it together. It's like Legos. I mean, the more and more you put it together, the stronger it gets. But the most important thing is it's four inch centers. So four inch centers, these centers run across this floor, the entire length of this trailer. And wherever you have a horse or steer or heifer standing on this floor, they're standing on a support beam. So that's why these Cimarron's and these combos especially have become so popular is the versatility. You can haul horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul toys as well. Maybe you prefer a rear ramp. We can do some, a lot of add-ons just like that, a hydraulic jack I showed you up front. We can remove the rubber bumper, add a rear ramp over the back door. We can add hay racks. Uh, there's a lot of items after the fact that we can do to these trailers. So don't think just because you see a trailer and go, oh boy, that's the perfect trailer if it just had a rear ramp on it or had a hay rack or a hydraulic jack. Well, we can take this trailer and do those add-ons and make it exactly how you want. So here's driver's side. So again, we have different lengths of that opening as far as those air gaps. So that's where it comes into play with you know, using that tape and that marker to literally write down. I mean, again, those couple minutes to do that will save you a lot of hassle, like I was mentioning. And then there's that escape door I was telling you about in there. So that's a great look. You have a chest bar that goes across there and they've got that gate shut. So you can see it's a good size stall. So whether you have an animal in there or you just want to have it for some extra space to store items, you can access it. You don't have to worry about it getting underneath animals in transit. Just making sure everything's nice and secure. So as you can see, again, that's why stock combos are such a popular seller. A lot of people don't want to get rid of them or they've got a buddy that'll buy it rather than trading it in. Uh, very easy to sell if you're looking to upgrade uh, just because of you can do so many different things with these trailers. So it is available today. I'm gonna to give you the stock number on it. For reference, if you wanted to call in, 5N-221-154. It is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. We do take trade-ins. If you're looking to upgrade, downgrade, whichever, we can help you out there. We have financing available and we can deliver to your doorstep. So give us a call. Anyone on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684. 3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.